Hi YouTube. Uh, coming to you with a real quick haul before I go to bed. I'm exhausted, but I just wanted to do my haul video so I could get this stuff put away. Uh, first thing I went to Michael's for was some scotch tape for my ATG gun. And I got this kind. I didn't realize that there were two different prices. One was $9.99 for the archival and the other was $5.99 for just the basic. So I could have been saving myself a lot of money because I just need it for, you know, card making or whatever. So um, these were $5.99. I got two of those. And then in their dollar fifty bins were 60% off, I believe. So it came to... 80 cents a roll. There's three yards on here of this bling. And they had a hot pink one, but I wanted a lighter pink so that I could do the pink and blue and green, you know, in the shabby sheet color themes. So I went over to the other um, where the ribbons were, and they did have the pink one. And this one, unfortunately, was not. 80 cents. This roll was $6.99, but there's three yards on that as well. So, you know, and if it's a six or seven row, then you can just cut it and you get that much more. So I got those. And all the dollar fifty bin stuff was 60% off. So they're cleaning out, clearing out, getting ready for some new stuff. I also got in on some of their hot buy paper pads. Uh, these are from Craftsmith. I've never heard of that group before or that brand, Craftsmith. But the papers were really pretty, and these were only $7. Look at how pretty that is. Lots of foiling textured really pretty you get two of each really this orange one is really pretty cutout sheets so like I said this was only seven dollars and it's over there in the hot by area where they have their Amy Tangerine eight and a half by eleven pads uh, they also had these same designs in boxed cards but I've got enough of those so I didn't get any of those and they also had a little by the Martha Stewart stuff they had a, a little discounted area so I got this Heidi Swap um, Specialty paper pad. Uh, I don't see the name. Destinations, I believe, for six ninety nine. And this this paper pad is really good for male themed um, projects. Lots of maps, numbers, gridded paper, graph paper, stripes. Stars, circles, more maps. Chevrons. So, yeah, this is a really good one for masculine pages. So I got that one, and it was only $6.99. Okay, and so that was all I got from Michael's. Um, and then, thanks... Again, to D from D Special Things and Kim from Kimball Creations. They had me back in the car. Going to Tuesday morning. I got some of their button bonanzas. And these colors are just so citrusy and 
pretty. Um, and these were three forty nine. And they also had them in the baby colors. Pinks and blues, yellows and purples. So I got those. And they also had these really nice brown ones. $2.99. So I got those. And then um, they had lots and lots of new beads, seed beads, and some regular other beads, but primarily seed beads that I bought because I wanted to do some flower centers using the glue gun technique where you just put a dab of glue and then you put beads in that dab. So these were a dollar ninety nine. So I got gold, and then these are a, almost a gray slash platinum color, and those were a dollar ninety nine. But this these brands were ninety nine, and these are like a copperish brown coming across darker on the camera than it really is but they're like a goldish copperish kind of brown and then I got some pearlescent ones looking ones and they're like a pearlized white and then I got some clear ones and these, for some reason, these reminded me of rock candy stickles. Like I could embellish with glue and then sprinkle some of that on there. So I got those and figured I could do some really fun stuff with those. And the main reason I went down to Tuesday morning after watching the video and Kim's video was for all of the cool paper pads that they had. They had a lot of cool new paper pads. So, and they had a lot of Tim Holtz stuff too. And I, the only thing that I got of the Tim Holtz was this the frosted film for 2.99. There's a sample of it up here. But they had bingo chips and the plastic chips and they had a lot of Tim Holtz stuff, but a lot of it I already had so I didn't get it. But I did get the frosted film. Um, and so then on to the paper pads. We got... And some were $1.29. Others were $2.99. But this one was called Vintage Charm. Kind of reminds me, should have did this before. Oops, now I just ripped the whole thing in half. Oh well. Kind of reminds me of romance novel a little bit. They're double sided, of course. Isn't that pretty? So, dollar twenty nine for a six by six pad. You can't beat that. So, I got a couple of the vintage charm, and then they had Amy Tangerine cut and paste, and the this one was two ninety nine. And I won't tear it open like I did the other one. I don't want to rip it. Just real cute um, for cards. I really like that one. You could use it for cards or tags, whatever. And so that was cut and paste from Amy Tangerine. And then this was close knit 
from Crate Paper. This one was also $2.99. Try to go fast so that it don't take this video forever to upload. Um, this is the pier from Crate Paper. Two ninety nine. That's cute with the doilies, doily clouds, if you will. And that's another vintage, and yeah, the pier, that was the last one. So I got all of those, and then, oh, and this was from Michaels. This was a little stamp that said, yay, so I got that. And then they had a lot of, um, Handmade style paper, really pretty. You know, the kind that I think comes from India. So, I stocked up on that, and most of these were $1.99. Some of them were $2.99, but I'll show you. This was a dollar ninety nine, twenty five sheets, and that has gold foiling on it and flowers. And this one has like a beaded. It's kind of hard to tell because of this glare. There we go. See all that gold work. And it's, you know, it's handmade paper. It looks pretty. 25 pieces. And this one I really love. This one only had 12 pieces, but it's real pretty. It's got like these um, stickled flourishes on them. They're gold. 25 pieces of that, and then they had this really textured, almost like an ostrich skin. So hard to show you in this lighting. Almost like an ostrich skin. See, there we go. Bumpy. There's 25 pieces of that for $1.99. And then they had a metallic textured gold. And that's 25 pieces for $1.99. And then they have this beautiful pearlized white swirl, so to speak. I can see using this for wedding cards. Just beautiful. 25 pieces, $1.99. And then uh, they have this real pretty stars and dots over it's over a white handmade paper. And then these are silver embossed dots and stars. So cute. 25 pieces. And then I think this is one of my second favorites. Look at the texture on that. It's like a, um, like a dot. Eel skin type of thing. And uh, 12 pieces of that. Oh, and I just noticed this is all from Colorbox. Made in India. That makes me happy and sad because I hate that everything has to be shipped out just to be brought back to be purchased here. But that's the way it goes, unfortunately. And this is a white embroidered, really pretty one. And that's nothing against folks in India because I know they work hard and they need jobs too. So. I just wanted to clear, clarify that. 
Okay. Oh, and there's a couple more in here. This one is a different white embossed swirl. 25 pieces. $1.99. And then this, I really love this. This looks like alligator skin. You see that? How raised that is? And this had, I'm going to say this is a little over 25 pieces. It looks like a lot to me. So I got that. And then there were some textured papers. This is $249. This is a textured um, cardstock. Let me open it. It's kind of hard to see it in the package. You're going to be able to see it on this camera. But it has a, like a large grained weave in it. Uh, kind of, you can see it there. Yeah, large grained weave in it. So, very textured. And I also got it in the salmon color for $1.99. Hey, I'm wondering why that was a dollar ninety nine and this one was two forty nine, and it's the same thing. Hmm. Oh well. And then they had a metallic white snow. It's hard to tell, but it's very pearlized and very metallic. And that was twenty five pieces for a dollar ninety nine. Okay, and this was a black, charcoal gray black one, pearlized me um, metallic, but it says 25 pieces, but I am quite sure there's more than that. That's a thick pack. This was 25 pieces of this white, and there's double that in the black, so I guess that makes up for my little price discrepancy of the other one. Um, and then I got some of the coordinations, whitewashed, you can see the texture on that one, and then when you sand through, the salmon color comes through, and that was only $2.99 for... Forty pieces, and then they had. I have a nickname for my dad. I've always called him Daddy Fish. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know where it comes from. I've just always called him Daddy Fish, and so I found this cute fish paper. 25 pieces for $1.99, and so I'm going to make him something with this. It's so cute. And then finally, they have these cute ones that have little bicycles on them, and they're glittered and embossed and raised. So, that was really, really cute one. Not that. And then one other thing I wanted to show you all was the reason I've been working on uh, purchasing so much paper 
is that I have been working on taking the let's see if I can get one taking these composition notebooks that are on sale everywhere right now because school's getting ready to start and um I've been taking the big one and a little one and making um, altered notebook sets for friends in the class I'm taking so that they can take notes. So, here's the first one. And it's also a kit. So I just paint the spine and then I add the paper. And that has the little one in it as well. And then when they flip it over, I've got all the coordinating embellishments that they can glue on and sort of make it their own. So that's that one. And then I have this one. These beads coordinate perfectly. I haven't added embellishments to all of them yet. I'm still kind of working on it. That's that set. And then I have the lace set. Big one and the little one. Then I have this real pretty cane company paper, and I still need to paint the spine on this one. I forgot to do it. So I'll paint that one up. And a Melissa Francis set. from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby this paper so I've got that set and this is a can company paper set and I also forgot to paint the spine on this of this one paint it like this as well so those are all my notebook sets and having a ball making them really it's, it's actually quite therapeutic to sit down and get into my papers and just start to cover and recover stuff it's fun so okay ladies that's all I've got to share um, keep your videos coming and um, I look forward to all the crafty goodness that you have to share with me okay talk to you later bye bye